Jonathan here. Thanks, Bill. Paul, I'm with my next door neighbor. <laughs> We're going to break down some of the things we do here with this young man. So let's start a training session. I'll say, ready to train. Make sure I got a hungry dog. I got the right equipment. And I've got a very good dog from us. Bouvier's of distinction. Good boy. We're switching up our treats today. Treats about the size of a pencil eraser. You should have an easy means of distribution. The best of which is a little pouch that you wear that you can quickly dip into and acquire your treats. Sometimes they can come from the rear. Yep. And you always want to be able to give those treats at a moment's notice. You'll start each training session with ready to train. And then from whatever position, he doesn't have to sit. All you gotta do is say, us, good. And you lead the treat from his nose. You wanna get him the sense of a smell of it right up to your nose. So I hold it between these two fingers. I use this finger to point to my nose and I say, us, good. And he gets a treat. Do that time and time again, then you build endurance. I might say it like this, us, us, and then he gets a treat. Then I might do eyes, eyes, eyes. Then he gets a treat. That's building endurance. He learns to wait for the treat. The heel command with the dog on your left, the correction collar the right way. The correction collar, if he's on my left, the chain should go straight across the back of his neck and loop underneath. Kind of like an upside down P. Straight over the top, loops underneath. It'll make sense as we progress through some of these lessons. Next time I'll show you the collar situated on my wrist. It's easy to see. I tap my leg with a hand signal and I say the word heel. As soon as he's doing it, I praise. I step off with my left leg. Watch. Heel. Good boy. So as soon as he's in motion, I tell him, good boy. And don't hold back the accolades. Good boy. Every time I take a turn, watch what I do. Because I want him to focus on my leg. Heel. That noise was me touching the leg. When I stop, I do it in a somewhat exaggerated fashion. Heel, good boy. So now you see, he didn't get a treat there. He's already built his endurance up. If I want to steer him a little bit more, I'll bring the treat here. When I stop, I want to steer his head up. Stay. Palm to the face is the command for a stay. I might do it simple the first couple times. Eyes. Yes! So there I gave him, as we already know, what's called the terminal marker. And I break off into a little bit of a jog. For him, that's the super big treat. Okay, all I want you to do with these exercises, sit. When I stop, I don't have to say sit. I can reinforce it with the word, but it should be an auto sit. Heel, I stop, automatically sits. I stop to speak to friends, he should just chill out. Um, I really wanted to go over just that drill into itself with the eyes. I wanted to go over the hand signal for the heel and what he should do at the end of the heel. Now we'll just go through a series of exercises as normal. Heel. Good boy. But same thing, as soon as he's doing it, I praise him right away to let him know he's going in the right direction. Good. Heel. These are the basics. Stay. Palm to the face. Stay. Down. From afar, raising of the hand towards him is the down signal. When I'm up close, stay. Sit. Stay. Say he was there. I could do it with either hand. Down. Sit. Yes, good boy, good boy. Heel, as I'm walking, I get my leash back in order. You don't have to do always the down command directly from the sit. I can just be walking and I could stop. Down, stay. I could use verbal or hand signals. Both gives me the clearest message. Good, here comes a vehicle. Let's see if he'll stay. Okay. Hopefully the dog won't get run over on video. <laughs> okay. 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 
it? Yes, good boy. Good. So he's a brave, so he's a brave, so he's a brave, so good boy. So, basic commands, hand signals would look like this. First, I make sure his leash is set. He's ready, got a hungry dog. Heel. When I come to this stop, it should be an auto sit. Stay is a direct palm. Stay if I'm in front of him, straight palm. If I'm in front of him, down. Sit. Heel. Good boy. Sit. Down. Stay. And that concludes our filming for today. Uh, we're going to be breaking down some of these drills. For instance, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. This is the basic. There is a more advanced where I kind of want to ask for the eyes. But then eventually we take the hand signal away, or at least the luring to my nose. I just say eyes, and he looks and he gets a treat. Um, we never wanted to really look for the hand where the treat's coming from. I want to keep his eyes here. Uh, basically, all we want is engagement. As we're walking, the sit is an auto sit. If he's on my left side, I could say with the right hand sit and then deliver him the treat. If he's right on my side, I could tell him down. I put my palm down to the ground. Stay is a direct palm right to his face if he's on my side. If I'm in front of him, I say stay. If I want him to go down, down. Often I'll do body language. You see, when he's in a down position, I want him to sit. I just don't say sit. I say sit, and I simulate the action of me picking up on the leash. When he's down in front of me and I want him to sit, I do sit. So I bring the energy of my body up just to give him a clue. Eventually, you should be able to say it, sit, 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 any way you want. Obviously, same voice each time, but I don't need to do the body uh, action. And that's it. I just wanted to start to familiarize you with some of those hand signals. So when we are working with them together, they'll seem familiar. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you, Paul. See you later.